Space is cool and terrifying and full of mysteries that are just waiting to be uncovered, but sometimes these mysteries are so perplexing that we just can't quite seem to find out the answers to them. From the invisible celestial cloud that exists in our galaxy, to what the heck happened before the Big Bang, all the way to the mysterious origins of our moon. Buckle up and let's talk space. Hey Top 10 fam, I am your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and today we are covering part 2 of the Top 10 Space Mysteries that we might never be able to solve. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have how did the galaxies form? When you look out into the night sky with a telescope, you'll see a lot of what you think are stars, but many of these points of light are actually galaxies. Galaxies are made up of stars, dust, and dark matter, which are all held together by gravity. But here's the thing. Astronomers aren't exactly sure how our galaxies came to be. After the Big Bang occurred, space was mostly made up of hydrogen and helium, but galaxies as we know them weren't a thing yet. There are of course speculations as to what may have happened, like gravity pulling dust and gas together to form individual stars, and then as those stars were drawn closer together, they ended up forming collections that turned into galaxies. Others think the mass of what would one day end up being galaxies was drawn together even before the stars were created. At this point in time, it's all theories and no one is quite sure what the real answer is. I mean, at the end of the day we weren't even close to existing yet, so can you blame anyone for not having all of the answers? In our number 9 spot today we have missing stars. It would seem insane to think that a star could just vanish. Right? But that's exactly what might be happening. For thousands of years, astronomers had accepted the idea that stars were just fixed and unchanging, but that slowly shifted into the realization that stars are physical objects and they go through major changes very slowly. Like on a timeline of millions or billions of years. And when it is time for some of the most massive stars in the universe to reach the end of their lives, they go out with a bang. Almost literally. The supernova explosion is spectacular and can sometimes shine for many months and even be seen across hundreds of millions of light years. This brings us to the mystery of some stars that seemingly just vanish in the blink of an eye. According to what we know about stars, that shouldn't be the case, so where are they going? This has led to there being teams of scientists and experts who are examining both current as well as past observations of the sky to see if there is any sort of pattern when it comes to these disappearing stars, as well as to find the answers as to where they have gone. In our number 8 spot today we have the Galactic Phantom. Our galaxy, the Milky Way galaxy, is quite honestly pretty massive, but what if I told you there's some sort of hypothetical massive celestial cloud right in the middle of it? The Oort cloud isn't just some sort of hypothetical object, it is an entire hypothetical expanse of space that we're maybe kind of pretty sure exists. The reason we think this thing exists even though it's invisible is because of comets that follow a bizarre orbit that's in sync with something that seems to be this sort of massive celestial cloud. Everything in our solar system has a bit of a gravitational connection to this cloud, and it's possible that everything is surrounded by it. So what I'm trying to say is that we might all basically be engulfed in this cloud, but have absolutely no idea because we can't see it. If the Oort cloud doesn't exist, then what is causing these things? And if it does exist, well, what is it? In our number 7 spot today we have travel at the speed of light. Here's the thing, nothing except for maybe some sort of situation regarding quantum entanglement, which we will get into shortly, can travel faster at the speed of light. It's the fastest thing we know of. So now, here's our question. Will humans ever be able to travel at the speed of light? At the speed of light, someone could travel 299,792,458 meters per second. This means that you could circle the earth more than 7 times in one single second. That's super fast, and if humans could travel at these speeds, it would mean that we would finally be able to travel outside of our own solar system, which would provide us immeasurable insight into what lies in the universe. In 1947, humans were able to figure out how to travel faster than the speed of sound, re jets, and while this is a much slower speed, it's still a technological advancement that should not be overlooked. As of what we know right now, the answer to this question regarding the speed of light is no, but what if that's just because we don't have the technology now? That doesn't mean we won't ever. In our number 6 spot today we have how fast is the universe expanding. For quite a few years now, the Hubble Space Telescope has been calculating the speed at which the universe is expanding, because if you didn't know, the universe is constantly expanding. I guess I should have led with that, but we're all on the same page now regardless. So recently the 
telescope came up with what is now accepted as the most precise measurements we've ever had. That's great and very cool, so where's the mystery? Well, this rate is a huge conflict with other independent and apparently equally as precise measurements in regard to the expansion of the early universe. Why is this an issue? Well, it means we know even less about our universe than we once thought. How terrifying. Apparently, the scientific community has been reeling over this discovery because no one is really sure exactly what it means. Great, so we know nothing about the universe or the Marianas Trench. I'm starting to wonder what we do know about. In our number 5 spot today we have the shape of the universe. No, this isn't some Guillermo del Toro knockoff, no one is trying to get with the Oort cloud, it's just a super valid scientific mystery. Scientists have a lot of theories about the potential shape of the universe, but at this moment the leading one is that it is flat and infinite. Ok, that is both terrifying and cool, and it's also weird to think of the entire universe as having a shape. Here's the thing with this theory though, since the universe has a known beginning and potentially an end point, we can only observe a certain amount of it, so how are we really to know? As NASA has said in the past, all we can truly conclude is that the universe is much larger than the volume we can directly observe. There's something freaky about the people who would be the ones to have the answer, not having the answer. The universe is truly just unfathomable. In our number 4 spot today we have are there parallel universes? So everything is made up of little tiny particles, right? And there's only so many ways that those particles can be arranged in space and time. Some would call this a finite amount of ways that they could be arranged. And then the universe where all of these particles live is possibly flat and infinite. Right? Well, at least, like we just discussed, it's theorized to maybe be. And if this is the case, do you see where I'm going? So if the universe is infinite and the particles that exist in it have a finite amount of ways that they can be arranged, surely means that somewhere out there things would have to start repeating. Right? I think at this point you see where I'm going with this. I mean the deduction is certainly scientific, but it just seems so hard to really wrap my mind around. I guess we need to have the answer to our previous question before we can even begin looking into this one. What if there really is a reality parallel to ours? I hope the other version of me is cool and has like pink hair or something like that. In our number 3 spot today we have what came before the big bang. Some of you out there don't like hearing about the big bang and that's ok, but today we are talking about it because it is likely what created the universe. I mean, really. Do you have any better, more scientifically accurate theories? Ok, this isn't a fight so let's get to the question. What happened before the big bang? Well, no one knows for sure because uh… No one was around. I mean, almost nothing was around, so what could there have been? Something obviously had to exist for the Big Bang to have occurred at all, but what? Stephen Hawking apparently didn't have time for this question though because he states that not only did nothing exist, but anything that happened before the universe came into existence lacks observational consequence, so we may as well cut it all out of the theory and say that time began at the Big Bang. I like to ask big questions, but to save my brain from exploding, I might have to agree with the brilliant Mr. Hawking. In our number 2 spot today we have where did the moon come from? Our moon is our beloved sidekick that really helps us keep everything balanced here on earth due to the gravity gravitational pull that it has, and while we can't really think of an earth without the moon, where did it actually come from? I mean it was a hundred million years after the solar system was formed that our moon showed up, but where did it come from? The most accepted theory at the moment is the collision theory which states that the moon formed during a collision between earth and another small planet around the size of mars, and that the debris from the impact collected in orbit around earth, and boom our bestie the moon was born. But like I said, this is just the theory that seems the most likely, but it's entirely possible that this isn't true at all because we simply just don't know for sure. Either way, whatever happened, I'm glad it did because the moon is tight and it helps us with a bunch of stuff like our axial tilt, which is super important to our lives as we know them. So shout out to the moon. In our number 1 spot today we have quantum entanglement. I honestly spent so much time trying to figure out a Will Smith joke to go with this one, but I just couldn't seem to figure it out, so if you've got any, drop them down in the comments and make me laugh. In reality, quantum entanglement is the phenomenon where two different particles, which are in totally different parts of the universe, can be linked to one another and mirror the behavior and state of the other partner. This is a very interesting phenomenon for a few reasons, part of which is because it breaks some of the 
fundamental laws of physics. For these particles to be connected from so far away, they need to be sending signals to each other, but these signals need to travel faster than the speed of light, which is not something that was once thought possible, like we already know. Another mystery surrounding this entanglement is that objects are only supposed to be affected by their surroundings. So something happening on the other side of the universe affecting something on this side is certainly just strange. Despite these seeming impossibilities, studies suggest that quantum entanglement really does exist, and although we don't quite understand it, one day it might be very useful to us. Alright guys, that has been our list for today, thank you so much for checking it out. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video today, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time, bye!